Okay, so I've been all into AI stuff. I'm still selling on eBay and Amazon, and I, I'm thinking to myself, what's the intersection of these two things? So I begin to look at uh, eBay's tech blog, and I, I figure out who the, um, I mean, I don't figure it out. It's on at LinkedIn. The, uh, the CTO and the CMO of eBay, who they are, and what they're talking about. And there's a few blog posts that are really dense and hard to understand for the layperson that talk about the steps that eBay's taking to improve their search with uh, AI and, and the systems and models they're using. Um, and I think that I cannot <laughs> distill everything down into bite-sized patterns, but I think I can tell you a few of the important things about this and how what, you know, what we care about as, as business owners is how can I make more money off of this? What um, strategies or what, what pathways, what uh, procedures is eBay implementing in place uh, to serve customers uh, you know, they, they always talk about to delight their customers. And I don't know if delight's a code word. I don't know if it's just what they say instead of engagement because, you know, that's kind of like a, a forbidden thing to say now with all of the um, the tracking and tracing these giant tech companies do. I don't know. And I'm not going to go into that. I'm just going to talk about uh, what I think the steps you should put in place in your eBay store to future-proof it. I guess you might want to say this. Um, and it's things I've been talking about for a while, but I think now we can actually contextualize them in a way that actually like leads us to making more money, which is, you know, that's the end game of this all, right? So the, in the examples they use in these blog posts, the two, two of the ways, not the two main ways, two of the ways that they're using uh, these systems and models to increase search and, and make search better is they're taking the, uh, the order of the words in the search title or the description or whatever it is, and then that's creating um, a model that they're going to use to say uh, the second word in this title is the subject or the fourth word in this title is what's being done to it. The example they used is my dog likes water, my cat likes milk. And the second word in each of those phrases was an animal or a pet. And so if you begin to structure your eBay listings in a, a way that uh, is standardized, not only does it make your job easier in creating um, a process that just you can do on your own, but also establishes this pattern that these artificial intelligence systems can utilize to figure out how to better serve your items. There's also a second way that they're going to be using these systems to uh, show your items in best match or in um, specialized search results for the individual customer. They're really trying to create customer profiles, whether they're storing the data or not, I think is kind of irrelevant in this case. They're creating customer profiles uh, to allow the, the search results to better match the customer's needs to, again, to delight them. And so I think uh, beyond standardizing the way your titles are and the way your descriptions are and all that stuff to create these patterns that the AI can sink its hooks into, I think we also want to be you know, re-understanding or, or, or re-prioritizing uh, having very similar backgrounds. And I am so guilty of this. Don't look at my store for advice on this one. But I really do need to buckle down uh, and really implement, you know, I think a white background is always best, right? But a, a standardized background. And maybe in the short term, there actually is a benefit to having a uniquely colored or uniquely designed background because that, again, offers another um, place for the search engine to put its hook into, say, okay, like th whenever an item has this uh, and the buyer buys it, they have a good experience, something like that. But I would say in the long run, I think that as technology increases, um, it's going to be able to filter that out because I don't think it's in eBay's best interest to allow people to game the system per se. You know, they want people to be writing a good experience, uh, but putting, you know, a, a, a little rubber ducky in the background of all your photos because that triggers to eBay that your seller XYZ and seller XYZ always provides good service. It's probably a bit redundant in their minds because there's already, you know, seller names and that kind of stuff. Um, but just the way that I read it, and I'm not, you know, not a, a programmer by any means, but I do have somewhat of an understanding of how search engines work and how these algorithms might work. Um, and so I think that just, it's what we've kind of known already. It does recontextualize it to allow us to put things in order, uh, you know, in terms of prioritizing our workflows. And I hope that me talking about it kind of put it in the front of your mind because it's in the front of my mind. If you like this stuff, give it a thumbs up. See you guys later.